Let's use what we know about the dot product to find the angle between these two vectors. So uh, what we're going to do is remember our little formula which says that the cosine of the angle between two vectors is equal to u dot v divided by the length of u times the length of v. So if we want to find the angle between two vectors, we have to do just a, a few computations. We have to uh, find the dot product, and then we have to find the length of each vector. Um, so let's go through that. So the dot product of u and v, so u dot v, u dot v is equal to uh, 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 1 times 1, that's 1, plus negative 2 times 1, that's just negative 2, or minus 2. So this comes out to be 1. So the dot product is 1. Let's do the length of u now and the length of v. So the length of u is, this, is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared uh, plus negative 2 squared. So 2 squared is 4 plus 1 squared is 1 plus negative 2 squared is 4, so plus 4. So this is the square root of 9 if we add those together, and the square root of 9 is just 3. And now let's do the length of v. So all we're doing is just doing the necessary computations. Uh, based on this formula, and we derived this formula in the last video, so if you're curious about that, go back and watch that. So now we have 1 squared, well that's just 1, plus 1 squared, well that's 1, plus 1 squared, that's 1. So this is the square root of 3. So we have our necessary pieces here, so let's put them all together. So we have the cosine of the angle between the two vectors is equal to the dot product of the two vectors, which we found was equal to 1, divided by the length of u, that's 3, times the length of v, that's the square root of 3. So this is the cosine of the angle, so to find the angle, theta is just equal to the arc cos, or the inverse cos, of 1 divided by 3 times the square root of 3. And now to find this, um, we would have to use a calculator or a table of values. Um, and so I'll spare us the pain, but you should maybe do that on your calculator just to make sure you get the right answer. And this comes out to 1.37 uh, radians. Or I should write this is approximately equal. Rounding a little bit or truncating. This is, a, this is approximately equal to 1.37 radians. And if your calculator is in degree mode, then that's approximately 78.9 degrees. Okay, so nothing too terribly difficult. Uh, we just got to compute the dot product, compute the length of the vectors, and everything falls into place. Okay, see you in the next video.